This is a story about the wildest presidential election in U.S. history. It all started one day, I graduated from Ronnie McNutt University, which was one of the most prestigious universities in the country. I chose to major in political science as I one day had hoped to hold a high position in the nation. However in order to familiarize myself with politics I began to search for jobs that would get me the experience I so needed. I saw a listing for a presidential campaign manager, but the listing did not state who the candidate was. I decided to risk it as it would be next to impossible for someone who people have never heard to be president. Within a few days I received a response from the listing saying I had been selected for an interview. I was both excited and nervous as this was going to be my first real job that I had ever had. On the day of my interview I got dressed and headed to the interview location. When I arrived I was a bit confused at first, I was expecting an office-like setting but I was outside a house in Arkansas. I thought nothing of it and knocked on the door. When it opened I was shocked, it was the Twitch streamer Queso. He greeted me and invited me inside. I said hey, I think I have the wrong address, I am supposed to be meeting someone who is running to be the next president of the United States. Queso replied that's me. I wanted to be the president. I was taken aback, I knew that Queso knew next to nothing about running an entire country. But then again Queso doesn't know much about running in general. Being Queso's campaign manager seemed like a dream come true at first. After all, he is one of the most popular Twitch streamers with a massive following and I was chosen to lead his campaign. Little did I know, this decision would lead me down a dark and twisted path that I would never forget. As the campaign gained momentum, Queso's popularity seemed to have soared. His charismatic personality and promise of change resonated with people across the country. But behind the scenes, things were not as they seemed. Midway through the election, Queso's ratings dropped tremendously. However, it soon became clear that his campaign was resorting to fraudulent tactics to secure the win. At the time, he had around 650 votes in the entire country. Queso seemed nervous and knew he was going to lose, so he made a few phone calls. I found myself complicit in a scheme to manipulate votes and rig the election in our favor. When Queso was declared the winner, the celebrations were short-lived. Instead of focusing on governing the country, he began enacting absurd laws that left the nation in disbelief. One of his first acts as president was to ban everyone from every Waffle House and fast food restaurant in the country. It was a move that shocked and outraged the entire population. But that was just the beginning of Queso's descent into madness. As his power grew, so did his obsession with Waffle House. Rumors began to circulate that he was selling off the country's defenses to fund his own Waffle House empire. At first, I dismissed these rumors as wild conspiracy theories, but as time went on, it became harder to ignore the truth. I found myself torn between loyalty to Queso and a growing sense of guilt over what we had done. I had helped him cheat his way into the presidency, and now I was watching helplessly as he tore the country apart with his absurd decrees. As the chaos reached a fever pitch, I knew I had to do something to stop Queso before it was too late. But confronting him would mean risking everything, my career, my reputation, maybe even my life. And so, I remained silent, haunted by the knowledge of what I had done and what Queso had become. In the end, it was too late to stop him. Queso's reign of terror came to a sudden and violent end, but the damage he had inflicted on the country would take years to repair. And as for me, I will forever be known as the man who helped bring Queso to power, a legacy that fills me with shame and regret every time I look in the mirror. I am now hiding in an undisclosed location, typing this. Queso is searching for me now that I have leaked classified information on how he stole the election. Whatever you do, do not re-elect Queso for president.